What movie is attention yet anyone has hardly heard of it, The Man from Earth. It's about a history professor that suddenly decides to quit his job and move away. His fellow professors decide to throw him a going away party, and during it they ask why he's leaving. He decides to tell them he's 14,000 years old, and he has to move on when people realize he doesn't age. That's not giving anything away about the movie, even if it seems like it is. It's an absolutely fantastic movie, where they try to decide if he's crazy, or if he's telling the truth. Highly fucking recommend, Southland Tales, was the next movie from Richard Kelly, director for Donnie Darko. Amazing ensemble cast, crazy intricate story the movie works on its own but is technically chapters 4, 5, 6 of the story chapters 1, 2, 3 are a graphic novel, but because of the funky cyclical time travel nature of the story, it works both ways. So many memorable lines and scenes and performances. Truly awesome. Nobody has heard of it or seen it, Strange Days is one of the great sci-fi films, but basically nobody remembers it. And it's a shame, because Catherine Bigelow is good at sci-fi. Warning to people who want to watch it though it is quite violent. But so long as you're okay with fictional depictions of rape, murder, and people's brains being fried, you're in for a monumental cinematic experience. In the history of cinema there are probably less than a half dozen Tintin movies. That being said I saw The Devil is a really good South Korean dark thriller just as good as anything the states have come up with. You can tag that many South Korean films though Gonjiam, The Wailing, Train to Pusan, Old Boy, and The Man from Nowhere to name a few. The ruling class 1972. Peter O'Toole plays a paranoid schizophrenic British noble that believes he is Jesus Christ. His relatives try to cure him for their own selfish reasons and believe to do so, except now he believes himself to be Jack the Ripper. I cannot emphasize how fun this movie is. It even has multiple musical numbers. There's no such thing as a perfect film that passes unnoticed, but in the name of the father comes close. The court sequences in this film are unparalleled, and it is based on historical events. The only fault is that of its pacing, which might be too slow for today's Adderall adult, brain rot ridden TikTokers. Threads. It's free and came out in the 80s or 90s. If you ever wondered what it's like to be in a country preparing itself to get nuked, watch this. Filmed like Unsolved Mysteries it follows the daily lives of people in Britain as they educate themselves on the impending nuclear war. There is one that I've watched about two years ago yet is still prominent in my mind a silent voice that had me bawling my eyes out. The character experiences are so relatable to me. The whole story is a real tearjerker, the music is so soothing and I suggest the watch. I used to save posts like these to find awesome suggestions but then I realized movie taste is such a subjective thing, even more than other things. When I watched something heavily recommended and then it was just shit. Did not enjoy even a minute of that movie. Me kill the Reuters are sometimes just called Admiral outside of the Netherlands. It's a 2015 Dutch historical film about their most famous admiral, and is arguably some of the best cinematography for ships of the line and naval battles ever made. Snowcake. Sigourney Weaver was amazing in it. Also what dreams may come. Both movies have heart-wrenching stories and I usually don't like movies that get me emotional. I prefer romantic movies and action movies. These two are the exceptions. Marilyn Hotchkiss Ballroom Dancing Charm School. Stellar cast of John Goodman, Robert Carlyle, Sean Astin, Marissa Domey, and Danny DeVito. One of those films that has such a bad name people immediately dismiss it but it's amazing. Once Were Warriors. Commonly regarded by New Zealanders as the greatest romantic comedy the country has ever produced. But then, we're a hard case bunch and shouldn't be taken particularly seriously on the matter. Swiss Army Man Bazaar I loved every moment. Boiler Room All Star Cast. Should have been much bigger. Turbo Kid Super Corny. Just my type of, cheese. Phantom of the Paradise This is a special one to me. Klaus. One of my favorite Christmas movies of all time, and I have yet to meet someone else who has heard of it. I think it's mostly because the cover looks really cheesy and it starts of a little slow. Danish movie, but the grin is lagged here the Green Butchers, very dark humor drama, with Mads Mikkelsen in the main role. In the same vein is also Blink and a look to flickering lights. Dogfight 1991 with River Phoenix and Lily Taylor. Set in 60s San Francisco, it's the story of a marine about to go to war. Sweet little movie, one of my favorites, but not that well known. Brick. It's an indie from the 2000s I think starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Emile de Raven. 
It's pretty ridiculous plot-wise but has such a great atmosphere and is like a teenage noir. Cold comfort form. So many amazing British actors and its charming plot. Young Rufus Sewell is his major plus. Cold comfort farm film. Four Lions. Not well known outside the UK. It's basically a film about a group of wannabe terrorists and they are terrible at it. Great dark humor comedy film to watch with friends. Super E. One of my favorites but no one ever knows what I'm talking about what I say I love the movie. They think it's a movie about Super 8 hotels or something. Not even close. Grandma's Boy. About a video game tester who due to circumstances has to live with his grandmother. It has very dumb humor but it will make anyone laugh at least a couple times. The Endless. It's about two guys who go back to see the cult they grew up in and escaped from as children. Do not look up anything else about the movie, it's incredible. Lock. Tom Hardy as a construction project manager drives down a highway and takes phone calls for 85 minutes. It's one of the most gripping dramas I've ever seen. Children of Men. It's one of the most well-made movies I've ever seen. A lot of key scenes were done in single shots which makes it feel quite real and immersive. More people need to watch The Burbs. Tom Hanks, Carrie Fisher, directed by Joe Dante between Gremlins 1 and 2. It is peak horror comedy and extremely quotable. The Straight Story. Despite Richard Farnsworth getting an Oscar nod and it being a David Lynch film, few people have ever heard of it and it's effing fantastic. Superstar. I know some people have heard of it but the majority of people I ask haven't heard of it. It's fucking hilarious, I recommend watching it. The Quiet Earth. New Zealand movie where a very slight spoiler a guy wakes up and there are no people on earth except himself. Really good. Miller's Crossing. Early Coen Brothers Irish mob movie. One of their best but never had commercial success. Boardwalk Empire felt inspired by it. I loved The Black Cauldron as a kid. Very unknown considering it's a Disney animation. Maybe it's not a 1010, but it's a great film. Ko Yannis Kotsi. I love exposing new people to this film. My most recent stone interpretation was it's about windows as thresholds. Welcome to the dollhouse to me. It's so dumb funny I love it. It's from the 90s. I just rewatched recently laughed my ass off. Odd Thomas. That inning made me I'm a 45 yo man. I didn't cry at my dad's funeral. That movie though, bravo man. I'm not sure about Tintin, but Margin Call is one of the sharpest films I've seen. I'm the only person I know who has seen it. The Commitments. Irish film from 1991 set in Dublin about a guy who starts a band. Very funny film with an amazing soundtrack. Cube. To my surprise I found that rarely anybody knows the Cube movies even though they read great. I recommend them a lot. Nocturnal Animals. After I saw it the first time, I watched it two more times that week. I've never done before or since. Go Home's pre-funny 90s club rave drug movie. I saw it in theater and had no idea what it was about. Out Cold. Comedy 2001. Zach Galifianakis' first movie if I'm not mistaken. Do yourself a favor and give it a watch. I'd give Tintin but I really enjoy The Northman I guess people heard about it but I honestly think it is underrated. The original Wicker Man not, I repeat, not the Nicolas Cage one. Stalker Andrei Tarkovsky. El Topo. Sonatine. Cool Runnings. Everybody that I talk to has never heard of it and it's a damn shame because it's an amazing movie. Maybe not Tintin but Idiocracy is a movie that started out as a comedy and is slowly becoming a documentary. The Nice Guys. Russell Crowe and Gosling put up amazing comedic performances with great on-screen chemistry. Sunshine with Chris Evans and Killian Murphy. Do yourself a favor if you enjoy sci-fi and excellent visuals. A lot of these are fairly well known and I saw one suggestion that was literally nominated for an Oscar. Suicide Kings is seriously a masterpiece but I almost never hear read anyone saying anything about it. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil Fantastic Horror Comedy, with Tyler Labine and the incomparable Alan Tudyk. Bottle Shock has an all-star cast and interesting plot but I never remember it being in theaters. The Birdcage. No one I ask IRL has heard of it and I've never had someone understand a reference. Matchstick Men. Fantastic black comedy from Ridley Scott starring Nicolas Cage and Sam Rockwell. Fido. Difficult to fully describe and better than the zombie comedy synopsis makes it sound. Don't Look Now with Donald Sutherland and The Haunting of 1963 with a splendid Julie Harris. Mary and Max. Absolutely beautiful film and one of the best portrayals of autism I've seen. Kiss Kiss. Bang Bang. Also, 
the nice guys doesn't get the recognition it deserves. A TT the exact same popular movies that are posted every time this question is asked. Hell or high water Chris Pine robbing banks while Jeff Bridges investigates. Fear of a black hat double extra especially if you're a fan of 90s hip hop. The fourth kind. I'm not gonna say anything about it. Freaked me TF out. Come and see. Best and most horrific war movie I have ever seen. Happiness think it was late 90s early 00s really dark comedy. Once were warriors. Cold comfort farm. The road to Wellville. Chronicle. It's a perfect film. So simple and satisfying. Secondhand lands. Great movie. Great actors and acting. Dirty pretty things. I've watched it so many times. Brig unusual premise film noir set in a high school. Master and commander. It's perfect. Fucking perfect. A lot of these films being Tintin are a huge stretch. South Central, the message in that movie hits so hard. HET people recommending extremely well-known movies.